Hey guys, welcome back to episode 6 of the Barnsley FC24 save. And this is a big one. We're hosting Nottingham Forest in the Carabao Cup in our first game. It's great. We've had a really good run of draws so far in the Cup. And this time we've drawn a bigger team. So it'll be a really good test for us on Legendary to see if how we match up against them. We'll then play Wickham, Wrexham, Exeter City and Peterborough United. But the main focus of the month is that home game in the first match. We go with our strongest team, Buckley comes in, he's going to start at centre back for us. You know, obviously with this suspension from a cart we needed to bring someone else in, De Givney's not 100% fit. So we've had to go with the new boy and he makes a great block here from Awanini in the first three minutes, like 10th minute of the game and they're already on the front foot. We've barely had the ball and they're through again, oh it's a big save from the keeper that time. After stating him in the episode previous, He's come up trumps in the last couple of games for us and it's good to see him making some big saves here. Here's Phillips, goes around the outside of Tavares. Whips the cross in, there's Jallo. Oh, it's gone in. Jallo on his, like, probably his first proper start for me as a played game. Ball came in from Phillips. A great cross, it's a great volley. Off the post, in off the back of the keeper and it's going to go down as an own goal. Gutted for the young lad because that would have been a great one to have on the, the uh, copy book, but unfortunately that's going to go down to an own goal five minutes to go in half time now Shallow's put a heavy challenge in on their midfielder there but they're breaking through Awanini again it's looking through for oh no it's Tavares Tavares on the overlap Tavares is going through Pines is trying to keep up tries to block the cross and just makes a huge mistake that is a tricky one can't go diving in on Premier League players that's for sure he's trying to slide in to block the cross off just got there too late and as you can see we do clip him it's poorly timed and it's just so frustrating morgan gibbs right stepping up can roberts save the day here it's going to the left great save by roberts we managed to get the ball clear somehow and we'll get the ball up the field and away from our goal and that'll be nearly half time what an incredible save that was by roberts you know we were slagging him up have we got a chance to score here no We've been really, like, really disappointed with his performances so far, but what a great save from him. You could tell by the way Gibbs White strolled up to the penalty, he was going to go to the left as we watched it. And thankfully, we dived well enough to save. And we finished the first half with 1 0 advantage. Into the second half now, almost straight from kickoff. Forrest have just been dominant. We've soaked up so much possession. I would just need to keep working hard to avoid these chances. Oh, my player just bounces off him there. Oh, he's through on goal here. I need to stay, stand off him. Buckley's trying to cut off the pass. Thankfully, he's missed the target. Ten minutes later, Morgan Gibbs White into Alwini. Can he look for Gibbs White again? No, he's going backwards. It's time to Hudson the Doy. Hudson the Doy pushing forward. There's Tavares again. Tavares who won the penalty. Can he get a goal now? Buckley comes off across the cover, misses his challenge. Tavares misses the target. We are riding our chances here. It is not going to end well if we keep letting them have this much of the football. Great challenge there by Buckley. Uh, not. As uh, so he just completely clatters their striker. Sangare bringing the ball through. Oh, that's a better challenge from Buckley. He's actually played really well, you know. 63 rated youth academy prospect. I don't want to promote too many. But him and Jallo could be a really important part of this team as we go forward. There's Jallo. Oh, it's a good save. But yeah, we want to keep it as realistic as possible. We might see one or two come through in a year, but we don't want to see like eight or nine. Williams on the ball now. Last few minutes of the game. Can we just keep the ball and see this game out? Cracking crossfield ball. Cadder into Kane. Into Jallo. Jallo keeps it nice. Let's just keep the ball now. Into Kane. Kane dumps it towards the back post. There's Russell. Oof. Tried the Bellingham, but completely failed. But that is enough to see us through to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup. We are going to have a good test in the next round. Forest were hard, and we were very lucky to escape that with the 1 0 win. There's some, going to be some big teams left in the quarterfinals, and it's going to be a really tough test if we go any further in this tournament. Connell, solid in midfield. Cole, Kane, Williams, all putting in big performances for us. But it's the big man at the back, Roberts, who managed to see us through with that penalty save after Jallo nearly scored to put us 1-0 up. 
it's gone down to an own goal. Really good for him. But yeah, into the Wickham game now. They're 22nd in their league. They did win their last game, but previously the last three of the last five. McCleary, decent player. Leahy, good player. Got to really be on top of this one. We've kept the same start in 11, although uh, McCarthy started. He was suspended for the Forest game, which was yellow started, and we do come away with a 2-1 win. But in the ninth minute, Devante Cole has picked up an injury. We've seen recently on a few other people's streams there are some big injuries floating about, so we need to pray that that ain't too bad. And he's going to be out for four weeks. That's okay. We can deal with that. Waters will come in. Jallo will probably get some more game time. Oh, that is quite scary, though. I think Waters is our main threat. Let's bring him in. And then we'll chuck McCart back on the bench. Rotherham have been moaning that he's not playing so much. He was suspended for one of those games. And we'll give Buckley some more game time. And we're going to face Wrexham next. They're fourth. They've won three of their last five. They're in good form. As a promoted side, they're doing really well to compete straight away off the bat. Mullin is smashing the goals in. Toza is a decent centre-back. And we're going to have to be at our best again. If we can play this well against Forest and hold our own, we can do it against Wrexham. And the highlights this time straight from the kickoff. Pines out to Williams, back to Pines, back to Williams, looking through for Phillips. Phillips dinks it forward, keeper, defender, no, neither get it, and it's volleyed home by McCatty. Genuinely thought the defender would win that, or the keeper would come out and close the angle down. Both of them didn't do anything about it, and McCatty can volley home. It's a bit of a nothing chipped ball by Phillips, to be fair. Defender should have won that, keeper could have come out. Neither did anything, and that's 1 0. Straight from kickoff almost, we've taken advantage, and it's great to see. A Conquo in goal, he's a decent enough keeper. He's still an Arsenal player on this save, so we might be able to pick him up as our replacement keeper at the end of the season. Roberts gets a bit of a stay of execution, maybe, after that penalty save, but we'll see. Lots of football to be played. 41st minute now, we're attacking down the left with McCatty into Cadden. Cadden lifts it, ball in. Oh. Phillips nearly wins it. Out to Connell. Connell bundles over his man. Just a shot. Hits player in the face. It's the wrong goal. Oh. Proper little bundle all the way through there. Connell nearly nicked a goal though. McLean can bring it away. And that should be half time. Although Rexham has still got a chance here if they attack quickly. But Cook's, Cook's dwelling on the ball. That's probably going to be time I think. Yeah. Great challenge by Pines. Can we? Oh we might sneak an attack here. McCatty. Into Waters. Can he nick it? Oh, no. Oh, he nearly scored on the rebound as the defender smashed it straight at him. At half time, that's 1 0. This game's been another tough battle. Forrest was so dominant in possession, but Wrexham are such a counter attack inside. It's been such a different game. 58th minute. Waters looking for McCatty's run. Oh, don't know what happened there. But it does come back to Connell. Connell finds Phillips. Phillips looking through the middle. There's Kane. Back to Phillips. Phillips makes it two. Great feet. Those pair have been sensational this season for us. Both of them, I think, were out of contract in the summer. We've signed them both up and we don't want to lose either of them. They're both such good players. League One level, they are superb. Phillips, left foot, right foot. He's such a good finisher. I'm really pleased with how he's doing. And Kane has been solid. He scored that banger last time with his left foot from outside the box. This time, guiding it home with his right into the top corner. Keeper could have maybe done a little bit better there, to be fair. But it's a good finish by Phillips, and that's 2-0. After rest, Waters, he has run his race today, and Jallo is going to come on. But last couple of minutes now, into the 89th minute, in fact, and we are just trying to see this game out. Wrexham on the push. Mullin can't quite get it through to McLean. Williams picks it up, looks out to Cadden. Can we drive forward one more time? Cadden with the ball. Plays it forward to Jallo. Jallo wins the flick on. Oh, it doesn't quite make it to Wolf. Last embers of the game. We do see it out. It's 2 0. Another clean sheet for the boys. Another great result. We're getting to grits with legendary now, I think, in this league. Although we haven't played many of the big hitters yet. Obviously, we played Birmingham. There's a couple of others coming up. But this next game, we're playing an out-of-form ecstasy, ecstasy, sorry. 
three draws, two defeats in their last five games. They're a solid enough team, but they won't won't do so well this year. And we do see this game through. And Phillips, there's two there. So who gets the third or the first, as it were? We scroll down. We can find out. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Phillips got all three. 61% possession, six shots, five on target. Phillips gets a hat trick, perfect 10. Beautiful play from the midfielder. Just played these guys in the league, so we'll sim this one in the FA Cup. We need to have a cup run because the board are really keen on us to have a good cup run. Obviously, since losing to us, they did win their next game. Marsh starts just for fitness, but it doesn't matter. It's a 2 0 win. Jello came on to replace McCatty after half time, and Phillips getting three goals last time. Kane's grabbed a brace in this one. Excellent performance, sees us through to the next round of the FA Cup, and that's where we need to be. The board want us to go deep in the FA Cup and, and get promoted, so it'll be really tough. Final game of the month, Peterborough United. I, Peterborough were a side I nearly did the save with. I like them in real life. They've got some good players. I like their owner. They've got Cipriano and Mason Clark. So Mason Clark's just signed for Coventry in real life. And then you've got Randall, Clark Harris. There's some really good Ricky J. Jones, Charlie Wickling, all these good players for League One. Would have made it a really interesting save, but they were a little bit better than Barnsley rating was. Well, there's 62 defences, not so good. So we did go for the uh, Tykes, and I'm glad we did, because Devante Cole has been a lot of fun to bag goals with. What does Makati start up front? And we end up with a draw. Cadden with the goal after two minutes. So Kipriano managed to equalise in the eighth minute. And yeah, we didn't really do much. They had two chances, scored one of them. We had four chances and scored one of them. Probably should have put that one to bed. Hopefully it won't cost us too much as we look to the league table, but we are back at the top. Bolton Wonders struggling a little bit of late. Tied points on Bol with Bolton, six points clear of Blackpool in third, and then 10 points clear of Charlton in fourth place. Got some bigger games coming up, and we really need to make a dent, but it's just keeping Bolton and Blackpool at arm's length as much as possible. So Shrewsbury away in the league, then Mansfield at home, Charlton at home, and then look at that. Manchester City away in the Carabao Cup quarter-final. Couldn't have been much more difficult than that before we travelled to Stevenageborough, home against Birmingham and away against Burton Albion. We're starting to see some repeats now. We're getting close to the halfway point of the season. But out of all the teams we could have drawn in that last day, an away day at the Etihad against Manchester City is not going to be an easy task at all. Thanks guys for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in December for the Man City game.